Hey guys, and welcome to Fez Air Software. Today, we've got a sizable Taiwan gun order to get unboxing. So a quick note on safety, if I'm unboxing, shooting down range, doing disassemblies, I always make sure I'm nice and safe. So I've always got eye protection on just in case something happens. Make sure mags are out and empty, and obviously unless I'm doing the shooting. Obviously that's used in chrono, and make sure that there's no mag ammunition left in anything as well. So make sure you're doing the same. Hi guys and welcome back. If you do enjoy this content today, please do like and subscribe because you'll be really helping me out. So today we've got our next Taiwan gun order. Uh, so I did this uh, largely based off a couple of recommendations uh, and mostly because there was 10% off everything on Taiwan gun for sort of Black Friday. So we've got a few bits in here, a couple of people chuck some bits in here as well. And we've got some new things uh, to get unboxed out of here uh, that are going to come up on the channel soon. So. <clears throat> I am in a slightly different environment. My uh, table where I usually film is out of action, so I'm actually on a floor uh, in my house. So the lighting's a little bit different, so bear with me. I have got the uh, flash on on the camera as well to try and light it up a bit better. So I've uh, changed knives a little bit, and I can feel that there is a cardboard bridge all the way along there, so I'm just going to carefully cut along there. Quite excited to see what's in here. I've got a few accessories as well for a, a build for something that's in here. So, yeah. Let's get that open. Get that open. Get that open. Right, so, quite a lot of packaging. Oh man, this is looking ace. So, this box is probably about four foot long. Uh, and it's, it's going, you know, sort of well off camera. My camera's as high as I can make it go at the minute. So, We've got first up the uh, STTI Mat 23. Uh, this is for uh, Angry Panda. He's uh, wanting one to uh, do a bit of a project around. So we uh, drop that on the order for him. That'll be on its way to you soon. We've then got the Army Armament R31. So this is the uh, CO2. So we've got, or had one of these already. Uh, and uh, somebody took it off my hands because uh, they were in a rush for it. So I've just picked up another one uh, once they come back in stock for my wife because she absolutely loves this little piece of kit. So I'll uh, get that out of the way. Happy days. Obviously, all this was uh, like 10% off and then literally put the order in. And then on the day of Black Friday, I think they did 15% off. So I was a little bit, uh, a little bit annoyed, but, you know, I got a good deal on it anyway in general. So slicing there. And we've got, aha, so this is the, um, as I was about to do the order, I saw Taiwan Gun posted a, a little bit of a side A, side B, and they had a CMO, uh, CMO45A, the uh, AKSU, and they got one tricked out with like a handguard and a few other bits and pieces. So I sort of decided, do you know what, because it's so much off, I'm going to do a very similar build. So this is the... Key mod. I'm not a massive, massive fan of key mod, but it's the key mod handguard. It does look cool, especially with some rail sections on there. So I will um, obviously do a little bit of a build. That's the bottom of the hangar, uh, top of the handguard. Uh, it's looking actually really solid and really nice. That um, so I'm excited to uh, get this and, uh, and get this building. What I will do is I'll put a link to everything that's in this order down below so you can see it. Next thing we got is one of the new MOSFET type pistols, um, the uh, AEPs. So quite interesting in this one, this newer type, because look at that, that's a nice looking piece of kit. And there's some fair weight to that as well. That's uh, definitely weightier than uh, a lot of the AEPs before. Uh, so uh, the reason I was so interested in this one is because it's got a removable MOSFET and it's wired to mini Deans. Uh, so I'm, I'm not holding it far enough in front. Uh, so it's wired to mini dean so i can actually remove that it's so it's mosfet and lipo and that lipo is removable as well i wonder if that's that battery definitely needs charging i'm going to disconnect that so it doesn't ruin the cells i'm surprised it's been left connected but never mind it's uh it's not the end of the world but that's going to be quite an interesting uh little one to find out how well that shoots uh cause, you know seema are doing some amazing stuff of late so get out there. There is also, move that forward a little bit. In fact, the whole box can move a little bit further forward. There we go. So we've got, there's your little lipo. I'll uh, find out what the 
sort of uh, details of that for the full unboxing. But it actually includes, which I quite like, a USB LiPo charger. That's pretty cool. I've used one of these before in one of the previous unboxings, and it actually seems to work fairly well. So much so that uh, sneaky as it was, uh, actually still uses it, particularly for the uh, LiPo built into the actual um, SEMA AEP that he got at the time. I can't remember which specific model he got. Um, but that, I'm pretty impressed with that. That's looking cool. Get that out of the way. Now, next thing is um, one of those guns that I've had quite a lot of requests for. Uh, so it's one of the double bells. Um, correct me if I'm wrong. I seem to think I've seen that this is um, Boyy coming back from the dead. Uh, and they've done a bit of a rebrand of themselves and they're coming back. So we went with the uh, AK, little AK. Now, specifically, I've gone for this style of folding stock because of part of the build, I wanted to put like an M4 style uh, stock on it, folding stock on it. But that, I'm going to be honest, maybe the hop unit, but I'm a little bit hard pressed initially to tell any real difference from a SEMA in particular. Not mega keen on the handguard, but the handguard's going to be uh, got shut of in favour of um, the. Uh, key mod one that we've got uh, fairly solid looking box it's obviously been removed by the guys at Taiwan gun to do the chrono in and the downgrade which is doing 340 or thereabouts which is absolutely perfect guys thank you very much for that so I'm excited for that one next I'll get rid of the uh, uh, accessories around here so we've got the AK to M4 uh, adapter uh, or AR adapter so I can put an AR style stock on that AK that just had out so this is one of the 5KU uh, adapters it's also the same one as I've got on my KWA recoil AK and then we've got uh, we've got an empty box I'm hoping that's just crushed and the mag is down there somewhere uh, we've got a couple of extra mags there that's three We've got two Kublai high-speed motors, which are wanted for one some, for something in here, and uh, one one of my friends wanted. Hopefully that mag is underneath there. Then we've got a load more accessories here. So I've got uh, a few bags of point twos because uh, I was running short on point twos. So they were freebies. Two of them came free with the guns. One was an extra freebie, uh, just uh, because they always give you a freebie which is always nice, it's useful for doing chronos and stuff. We've got a few accessories in here, we've got a pistol speed loader, we've got a um, front sight, I bought this by mistake, I should have checked properly first. So this is one of the ones, it's a 5KU um, rear sight conversion, so it replaces the leaf sight on your AK, your rear leaf sight, with a little riz rail basically to mount a, an Opticom. I've got a little um, key mod, vert grip to go on that handguard on the little AK. We've got a patch that came free with I think with this one under here. We've got a little, uh, we've got a piston, full metal piston for uh, somebody that wanted one for Dylan. And we've got, wow that is much bigger and chunky than I was expecting. So I got this expecting that to be a lot smaller than it is uh, for the AK build I'm going to do. Uh, and that is really thick and chun chunky. Uh, wow, that's much, much bigger than I was expecting. Much bigger. Get those in there. A little bit of uh, bubble wrap down there. So I've then got a uh, ergonomic stock by D-Day. Obviously clone of the Magpul ones. And that's to go on that AK. That was like £7 or something. We've got a couple of SR25 uh, high caps. I think they're the Battle Axe ones. And that is for the, is it the SEMA uh, 98 uh, that we had, the sort of DMR, sort of platinum edition. And that's for the guy that's got that now. Then we've got, this is one of the requests. So this is the uh, SRC Falcon. Uh, wow, that's, wow, that's much nicer than I was even expecting it to be. Uh, and it even comes with a little adapter that allows you to take whatever style of mags those are those are a little bit different if you know the style of mags that they are let me know because i'm interested it comes with an adapter that it clicks into that and then that clicks into your 
typical ARP, uh, well, it's not, it's an ARP type of mag, but it's an, obviously an AR type uh, lower. So I can remove that. If I press the mag release, I can remove that adapter and then I can take in standard AR type high caps. That's quite cool. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to unboxing that. So you've got quite a, a nice sort of beefy looking system there by SRC. Ooh, I'm liking a little bit of uh, neon in there. Some uh, cool little sights going off. That's uh, that's actually got me quite excited that for unboxing this. There looks to be quite a few accessories in there as well, which is always good. So I'll get that in there. And that's been downgraded. That's doing about 340 as well. So thanks again for that, guys. Get that out of the way. And then hopefully there should be a mag under here. Hooray, there's the mag. Dropped out of the packaging. Get the box out of the way. And then last but not least, this is what Dylan really wanted. So it should be, and it is the wrong way around. It's the STG44. So Dylan's been really kind to let me obviously unbox this and I will be doing a disassembly on it as well. Spin that around. So I will be unboxing this on the channel and doing a disassembly of it. That is a hell of a piece of kit. Wow, that's, uh, oh man, that weighs an absolute ton as well. That literally weighs an absolute ton. Um, that is so, so heavy. Um, oh man, I didn't even realize that was real wood. That's real wood on there as well. Um, that is looking very, very impressive. I'm not sure where that bolt's just come out from, but it's there. There we go. There's your mag as well. Sweet. That bolt's just come back out again. Dylan, I'll look at tightening that bolt in there for you so it doesn't keep dropping out. In fact, no, it's not. I apologise. It's me knocking a, a little silver ball off my sofa. My kids have been in here. Um, so, I hope you've uh, enjoyed that unboxing. I have got myself well and truly excited for the contents of this, uh, this order. I'm uh, looking forward to doing a full unboxing on the STG. Uh, and obviously, well, everything that's come in this order, really, it's all uh, pretty damn exciting. So let me know what you think. Uh, let me know if there is anything you're particularly interested in seeing uh, from any of these things. And uh, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.